Oh, again, lock picking pool here. And what I've got tonight is an Abus Brady that was sent to me by Nigby. Um, and uh, he suggested to me that I do a lock pick snap video. Um, he picked his one of these earlier on today. And as I said, he sent me this one. He bought a job lot of these and he's been sprinkling them around with some Nigby pixie dust to various members of the Locksport community. Um, so I thought, yeah, that's a good idea. I could pick it for that. And being it's a Tuesday, I could do it for Pocket Woman's Lotto Lock Tuesday as well. So I'm going to do a quick pick, I hope, and a gut, and we'll compare to see if it's got the same stuff inside it that Nigby's had. I think he mentioned to me they can be a bit varied. And uh, so we'll see. This one has quite unpleasant bitting, which does make uh, getting that final spool through the shear line slightly awkward. But let's see how we do. Right. Yeah, a series of progressive false sets on this. Almost something reminiscent of a challenge lock. Right, where's that last spool? There we go. And it's open. You have to be ever so gentle on that last pin. Right, so let's get the uh, let's get the tray. We'll bring it down here and get it gutted. Uh, right, I've got a shiny new penny tray as well. Where is it? There it is. So one of the super tools pinning trays. My daughter bought this for my birthday, and I've not used it yet. So I thought, let's give it a go. It's a nice small, it's a nice small tray for a nice small lock. So, and I just realised I haven't got my follower out. So hang on, I'll just fix that. And screwdriver. Okay. Hopefully, this one actually does fit. Did that fit? I'm sure it did. Yeah, it's not quite out yet. Oh, come on. <laughs> can pick a lock open, can't undo a screw. Yeah, it's not coming out. <laughs> There's the other screwdriver. Looks like a fit. No, it's not a fit. Frustrating. I think that I, I might actually be unscrewed. Let's see if we can. Uh... Oh yeah, it was unscrewed. <laughs> no wonder the screws just stuck in the plastic. So yeah, all right. One fiddle later. All right. And I think Nigby had a bit of a mare putting his back together again, so I'm not going to shake that about. I don't want bearings flying out of it. Just lock this back up. If it will lock back up. Never cease to be amazed how tiny, tiny, tiny padlock cores are. There's my shim. Who 
in one, two, three, four, four, five, six. And there is nothing fancy in Macor, I don't think. When I first got it, I thought, oh, does that have uh, counter milling? Because it felt very, very grabby, but I think the spools in the uh, up in the Bible are just very sharp. Well, that's quite a nifty thing as well. Notice that. Got a core holder with a... Because the pinning tray is on legs, you can keep the key in it. Quite natty, quite natty, that. Right, must remember... Ah, yeah, okay. Uh, front of the lock has the overhang. <laughs> I have put these back together again the wrong way around before now. So pin one is a standard, pin two is a teeny tiny spool, three is a spool, four is a spool, and five is a spool. Six pins, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> So I think that's exactly what Nigby had in his. I've got uh, five spools in the standard, which keeps the whole thing upright. So, there you go. Lock pick snap per Nigby and uh, Lotto Lock Tuesday. Cool little lock. And Nigby, thank you very much for sending it to me. It's very, very good of you. And uh, I've got to owe you some goodies by now. I'll work on something, mate. All right, that's it for me tonight. Hope you enjoyed that. Search yourself one of those out. They're quite good fun. Cheers.